where we might just see, you know, specific scenes in diorama form, you know, before mm -hmm. we see a full on technodrome. I mean, there's definitely more rooms that are like environments that I'd love to do. Just in the sewer, there's like a bunch more rooms. You can, there's a, kind of the bedroom area. Like they all have the little pipes that go off to the side and their little sleeping area. And there's the training dojo. There's like splinters room, like just like a generic sort of sewer tunnel, like kind of a pipe area would be cool to have, you know? We can set up a bunch of characters, like all that stuff would be pretty awesome. Channel 6 and the Technodrome, like, you know, those are all exciting places where there's a lot of stuff going on. You know, we already have the street. I think at the beginning of the different lines here, there were some figures that were more difficult for fans to get. So April and Casey on the Fred Wolf mm -hmm. side, and then the the original sculpts of the of the TMNT themselves are those mm -hmm. potentially something we might see again at some point? I know we're getting the oh, Lost yeah. Turtles, but I, will, could we ever get the original sculpts in some fashion too? Uh, I think Randy's confirmed that a few times in other interviews too. Or some of the original stuff it never really goes away. Like we do reorder that stuff. There's going to be a new April. We are making a new April, a cartoon April. She's coming out next year. But yeah, for Casey and Bebop and Rocksteady and like just the regular Turtles. There's definitely more of that stuff that's being reordered and coming back out. So the the 2.0 April is yeah. will this be a variant of April or will this be similar but but slightly different look? Uh, yeah, no, it's 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 like a similar. It's like an upgrade from the last one. So it's it's still her in her like yellow jumpsuit. It's got some new parts. It's gonna be like one of the ultimate like VHS box figures. So so. She She's got like a couple different interchangeable heads. She's got a bunch of different hands, some old accessories that, you know, the previous April had and then like a bunch of new stuff. Like she's got that old handheld camera she's with the San Diego set, you know, like just swappable heads or whatever, but it just too expensive. It didn't make the cut. So it's going in the accessory set. Little, there's weird little things in there that I just, I really like uh, the Star of Hoboken. It's like this, that big diamond that's going in the accessory set. Star of Hoboken is just such a cool, funny thing. It's like doing the Maltese hamster. And like, I just love some of those episodes that have these really silly kind of MacGuffin. Rocksteady's helmet, that little green army helmet that we had that at San Diego Comic-Con. That's going in the accessory set. Oh, there's this cheese painting, like a fancy tin. Oh gosh, what's that episode? The Great Baldini, I think. Exactly. But yeah. yeah, there's this like there's this really fancy painting of a piece of cheese. Mm -hmm. And then for whatever reason, the rat king just pops up from like the basement of the museum painting home with him. He's like, Oh, that's a really great painting. So like Dan, who paints all the covers, you know, VHS boxes. I was like, Dan, you gotta paint this like this piece of cheese for me and he's just like <laughs> it's in the episode for like a second and a half and i was like yeah i know but it's cool and then it's like if you have a rat king figure it's just an awesome accessory to go with him and if you bought the mousers from earlier this year now you've got like five or ten more rats or whatever come with that so it's like you can just sort of army build and like just level up your figures you know so yeah the tv the video game console and the vcr they're in the accessory set and they're cool there's a bunch of cards you can like like swap out like so they're like flipping channels or something and i should just hold on give me one second I'm like, okay. so here's a tv and there's a little gorgonzola oh yeah on there that dan painted that's great um, so the cool thing and then like right now there's like there's a little vhs tape that like fits into the vcr which is cool sometimes the, the vcr is not on top of the tv so VCR, you can take that off and then take the antenna and just like plug it into this little hole. Oh, fun. And then so you can just have like the TV with the antenna, you know. Mm -hmm. And after he was done sculpting, it was already at the factory. I found it. One thing I kind of discovered accidentally. Mm -hmm. So here's like a Dimension X card. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it's super, it's it's real nice. And it's got, there's like the little moving lever and stuff yeah. over here. It's it's the stock, here. There's like more of those. Uh, the, there's the vending machine. Nice. And then so, it's got like the pigs from the Usagi episode. Mm -hmm. And guys. Nice. Yeah, I remember those. Got a little <laughs> articulated mouth and stuff. So yeah, when we... Um, does it have a hinge jaw too? It has a hinge jaw, yeah. So you can get like real sort of 
gritting teeth, more of a little open. You can see his tongue in there, maybe.